The last time I saw you, uh, we were at the Golden Globes. Yes. And y'all were nominated for all kinds of things. And uh, yeah. as you are again this year with the Critics' Choice Awards. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's been pretty cool. It's been a pretty cool thing to see. Um, I mean, I guess to get awards is a cool thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I saw you there and you were accepting a big award and I was kind of nervous to be there. I'd never been to the Golden Globes, so I was like, do I talk to Meryl Streep now or later? Um, <laughs> and then I saw you and I was like, will Ellen remember me? Uh, you know, I met you for six minutes here one time. Yep. Um, but you did. And, I and did. We, it was far away. I don't know if you remember, but we were like across the room. And our and eyes I, met. And our eyes met. <laughs> like blue eyes to blue eyes. Yep. And I kind of zoomed over there, and it was it was yeah. nice. everything faded away. It was just you and me. It was just you and me, yeah. Yeah. They didn't do the show that night because they just wanted us to sort of yeah. lock in. Yeah. Everything got dark except for us. It was the spotlight, the spotlight was on us. Hit us. We danced. It was a whole number. Remember? Was a long dance. Yeah. yeah. It like could an have hour been long. In our heads, but yeah. Yeah. No, it was. Of course, it I remember very, you. It feels very vivid. Yeah. I'm. I'm a huge fan. I think that the show is hilarious. Um, you have been, and I didn't know you started young. You started acting at what age? I started at six. I started at six years old. I was probably doing school plays at six in kindergarten. I uh -huh. don't know what kind of that good plays count. I was. That doesn't count when I say you started young. I mean, these people did school plays. It's not. OK, <laughs> that's true. That's true. We all do school plays. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I guess I did my first professional on camera job at six. Is that the well. one we have? Mm -hmm. OK, so this is adorable. And uh, you didn't get mm -hmm. tall until later. I want to find out when that happened. Because... I am smaller, yeah. Yeah, so here's your first job. So I came to Saks Fifth Avenue to get some answers. This year's window display is based on this book, Santa Claus by William Joyce. I'm going to meet Mr. Joyce right now. Come on. Well, let's bring it into window 20. Uh, we gonna fit? Yeah. All right, great. Hi, did you go and see the windows when you were a little kid like me? Yes, I did. I can't believe it. I can't believe that that is me. That it it does... doesn't look like you. Maybe it's not. I need to get that haircut back. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can make that work. I think so. Yeah, now do you remember doing that? I actually do. Um, my brother was the producer of this segment and produced a lot of Good Morning America's segments. And he wanted to like really make it feel exciting and big and so he would get me a stretch limo and it would pull up outside of my classroom and so I'd look to all the kids and I go that's my limo outside <laughs> I'm getting my limo now um, and I'd run off and get in the limo and and run you know go go to New York and film this this thing and you know be on the street filming as a little kid it was like yep. chaos around me yeah well you had the bug then for sure. I did. Yeah. Yeah, I really but did. But see, now a limo is not cool to have anymore. Now it's SUVs, and you have on... Do you watch Succession, anybody? You watch it? Okay. It's, cool. It's such a great show, and because it's such a wealthy family, um, when Kieran McCulkin was here, he was telling us that um, uh, it, it, there's a wealth consultant so that y'all know what you're supposed to act like and where and so yes. have you learned from the wealth uh, consultant? Excuse me, I just burped. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh, you for all, telling us. It's all coming up. Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, there is a wealth consultant and they don't talk to me much. Um, <laughs> Because your character doesn't really fit into that whole lifestyle. Yeah, my character is the poorest and um, most naive of, of this bunch. So, uh, so yeah, when I was researching, I was like, what, who is this guy? How does he hang on in this group? Because I have to justify it for myself. Like, for a long time, Greg stays in the group. Yeah. So I looked up the Murdochs and the Redstones and wanted to find the Greg in these pictures. Did you like, find one? I found one that I loved. Oh, yeah. And he had bad suits, and he was pretty schlubby. Um, yeah, but you don't wear bad suits. I did for a while, though. I yeah. did, like, in the early yeah, part true, of it, true. I was kind of wearing, like, yeah. not, you know, ill-fitting ill suits. So, so, yeah, I found that one guy. He's just a little bit at a distance, and, 
and no one's actually talking to him. Um, but he's there. He's in the yeah. inner circle. So. Yeah. I want to know who that is. You'll tell me yeah. during the break. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, uh, more with Nicholas after this. We'll be back.